Hi, my name is Kate Buda. I played Division One field hockey in college, class of 2015. And I'm here to talk for Maddie and to share my story. My freshman year, I thought I was going to quit. And um, I got very close to doing that. Um, I came in, I didn't, I didn't realize how physically, um, I guess I felt underprepared for, um, you know, the intensity of college sports. I was, even though I had, you know, done the training and I saw, you know, all my teammates pulling ahead of me um, by a lot, I, I felt very strongly that I wasn't good enough and that it had been a fluke that I had gotten recruited and um, we had a very intense um, physical training program and it was just I would wake up every day and I would want to um, I would hope that I got sick so that I didn't have to go I thought that um, you know I was the only one having a hard time with it and feeling just like physically broken by it I would constantly just hate the way I was performing I didn't feel yet like I socially clicked with the team and um, I, I didn't realize that anyone else could be feeling this way. I thought it was just me, that it was just because of my circumstances. Um, so the, la the last straw was um, the summer after my freshman year, I got injured um, doing our intense weightlifting program. I f felt like a failure. How come I got injured doing this and, and nobody else did? And um, as it turned out later on, I started you know, talking to some of my other friends who were doing college athletics, um, one of whom did quit because of the, the pressure and the, the emotional uh, strain it was taking on her. I actually, what I heard was, sounded like an echo of my own feelings. Like everyone was really struggling with the physical expectations, the sport. So we actually rallied to change the intensity of our lifting program and of our, our running program and we all became uh, better players and just knowing I wasn't the only person suffering um, gave me hope that we could make things better and that, that it wasn't weird or an anomaly for me to feel like this. You know, just talking about it can help immensely and, and just opening up to people about my experiences and hearing their experiences. And when I read Maddie's story, I had this moment where I was like, oh my gosh, this was me. I felt all these things and I felt compelled to act like I wasn't feeling them and act like everything was fine. So that's my story and um, I hope everyone gets a chance to read Maddie's story, um, and thanks very much.